What's up, Loop community? My name's Edge, I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer, and today we're gonna show you how you can get set up to run tracks in main stage. Let's get after it. Okay, so the first time that you open up main stage, you might see something that looks something a little bit like this. And so this is the template chooser, and main stage comes with a lot of really great templates. There's templates for keyboard players, there's templates for guitar players and bass players, there's templates for drums uh, and drum machines, there's templates for vocalists. There's even a template for backing tracks. And this is a great place to start if you wanted to start doing backing tracks. But we're gonna take a ground up approach and we're actually gonna start with a blank template. Since no blank template exists inside a main stage, we're gonna go ahead and start by making one. And to do that, I'm gonna start with the keyboard minimalist template. It's really the path of least resistance and there's not really a whole lot to get rid of here. So this is a good place to start. I'll click on choose and when we open up, Main stage will look something like this. Now, there's a lot going on right now, and truth be told, we don't need to see everything that's happening right now. In fact, the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna hide this middle section right here, because later on, we're gonna just delete everything in here. But for now, we're gonna hide this middle section. It's called the workspace, and to get rid of it, you can go to View, you can go to where it says Hide Workspace, or there's a keyboard shortcut, Command-7, great. And that leaves us with the channel strips and the patch list. And when it comes to running tracks, these are the two most important parts of main stage. Now, the patch list basically is every individual patch. In this case, we have a, an electric piano. But for us, while we're running tracks, each patch is gonna count as an individual track or an individual song. So as we create new patches, we're actually making room for new songs. And all of the tracks that we've prepared in our Logic videos, uh, we're actually gonna import them into the channel strips area over here. So a couple other things is that you'll notice that there's different kinds of icons here. And if I click on the Untitled Concert here on the left, you're gonna see that we've got some channel strips here that Mainstage makes available to every patch in the list. So these are kind of globally available. We actually don't need any of these right now. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of everything that we don't need. So just like in Logic, we can shift click to select more than one item and we can press delete to get rid of the things that we don't need. Great, that leaves us with our metronome. We might need that as well as our main outputs, our stereo, in this case, stereo left and right. We also don't need whatever's going on in this classic electric piano patch. So we can actually delete that as well. And by the way, notice that when I click from the concert into the classic electric piano patch, you can kind of see that I've still retained my metronome and I've still retained my stereo left and right. If I click back into the concert area, my piano disappears, but that's because the piano doesn't exist at that concert wide level. It only exists at this particular patch. So that means I can get rid of it and be right here at our bare bones, right where we need it to be. Okay, so now that this is a empty-ish template for us to work with, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. We'll save file, we'll save, and we'll call this our tracks template. Cool. So if we want to go ahead and play backing tracks inside of main stage, we first need to find those tracks inside of our computer. So I'm just gonna go to Finder, I'm gonna to go to where I've got all my tracks, which is inside of church, inside of the backtracks folder. And we've got a bunch of folders in here. Now, earlier I was working on a custom track for our Logic sessions, the Joy track by Patrick Mayberry. This one's available on Loop Community as well, so you can download it directly from there. If we wanted to, I could just click and drag this right into this area over here. And what's gonna happen is that Mainstage will first tell me, hey, there's a bunch of audio files. It takes up a little bit more processing power to run these and that's fine. I'll hit continue. And what's gonna happen is that it's then going to import all of these files and choose the appropriate plugin that we need to actually run these files back inside of our template. Okay. So now that all these files are in there, a couple of things to note about what just happened with our files that we dragged in. So I'm gonna open up one of these playback instances and you're gonna see that it's gone ahead and imported that file. You can also see that we can click and drag. It's also imported all of the markers that we had added to it inside of Logic. And so that's pretty great. 
But the thing that we really want to make sure is happening is, is a couple things. One, I'm going to click on this little link icon over here. That's going to link me to any plugin that's running in each of these tracks. And if we click on a new track, you're going to see that it's going to load up a new instance of playback. And the thing I want to point out is that all of these tracks, when they're dragged together, are added in as a single group. And that means that certain things are going to transfer over to each one of these individual tracks. And the things that are going to transfer over really amount to all of our playback controls. So when we press play, it'll play all of these tracks back from the beginning. Intro. Two, three, four. Great. That means that we can do some other stuff like go to the next section. So if I wanted to take it from the verse, I can press play. Great. So controlling one playback actually controls all of them when they're all inside of one group. But there's some other settings that we're definitely going to want to set up. So I'm going to click back on this first track. And these are the settings that don't necessarily translate to all of the playback track group. The things that we're going to want to do is one, we're going to want to go ahead and make sure that whenever we launch this particular patch, that it actually plays this particular playback. So I'm going to make sure that start on patch set change is enabled, start with play action is enabled. And then we're also going to make sure that no matter what, that we always start our project from the start of the actual track itself. Now, if you've got another custom version of the song that you want to play, then you might want to go into Logic or into another audio workstation and edit it so that it actually starts where you want it to go. So I also want to make sure that Snap 2 is set to bar. And that basically means that if I want to move to a different section or play a different section, that I could actually tell MainStage to do it, but it will do it when it snaps to the actual bar itself. And then the final thing that we're going to do is that we're going to want to make sure that sync is turned on only if we want to make sure that we play this back at a different tempo. So if we wanted to specify a different tempo, then we could do that. And you can see it's kind of automatically switched to 120. 120 happens to be the default tempo that this particular template starts with. So let me go ahead and uh, unhide the workspace and show you how you can change this to the right tempo. View, show workspace. And then I'll click back on this patch over here. You can see down here at the bottom that the default is just right now 120. So I'm going to go ahead and change that back to 114. And the tempo inside the track will change, which is great because then if we wanted to play the song a little bit faster, say at 118, uh, then you can kind of see that this just follows along with the rest of it. Now, the things that don't translate over to all of the different playback instances are sync, snap to, bar, and play from start. So we're actually going to have to go through each of the tracks and enable it. In this first instrument, um, I've got it set to snap to bar, play from start. We'll start at the beginning. If I go to the second one, we'll do the same thing. We'll just have to do this for all of the playback tracks. OK, cool. I'm going to close this playback track out. And I'll go ahead and just rename this track to Joy. It's in the key of E, and it's 114 beats per minute. Great. So that's the basics of using MainStage uh, and playback to playback tracks. In the next video, we'll show you how you can use Looptimus to control which track is playing.